Hi, I'm James Melendez, James the Wine Guy, here to share and celebrate this wine with you today. Now, today we're going to be tasting Centenal de Messiac. It's a wine from the Menervois in the Languedoc. And this is a 2011 vintage, 14% alcohol content, 75% Syrah, 25% Carignan. Back panel for your review. And when I think of the Menervois, I'm thinking um, Syrah all the time because this is a great part of this, um, this region. And, uh, you know, I'm tasting through a lot of Syrah this year, uh, old versus new. Old world versus new world is a better way of saying that. And I think that's a great characteristic of understanding Syrah. Syrah is one of these, um, I, I think it's just totally at this point um, misunderstood in terms of its place, um, in terms of the consumer, not in terms of the varietal itself. It's not having any sort of issues with it being Syrah. Syrah is Syrah, and it's happy to be what it is. Um, for me, I think it's one way of just calling out the characterization of these wines. Now, in this region, it's very common. You're going to find the Carignan blended with the Syrah, and uh, you're going to find it next door. You're going to find the uh, the Rhone varietals being very much mirroring what it grows best in this region. So Syrah is really, um, its birthplace is here. And uh, for me, it's, just, again, getting back to basics and understanding Syrah and um, recharacterizing, re restating, I think is the best way of saying that. I think it's important to talk about Syrah because I think there's, while there's been a decline, because there's this sense or need to trend wine. Trending wine is a bad thing because um, you might hear buzz and what's the latest trend in wine today? Well, I think that's um, misunderstanding and mischaracterization of what wine is all about. It's not really to say, you know, sure, there are sales leads and uh, leaders. The leaders are always going to be there. There's something that's always going to be one ahead of another. But I think in terms of what is an authentic taste and flavor profile. This is a wonderful wine for food. And I think that's getting back to the basics of understanding what it's all about. I think that uh, preconceived notions often go a long way to maybe discourage the um, serving Syrah, maybe because it's not considered to be cool, or uh, the declines have come from um, a lot of uh, thought has been given to that, which is, well, maybe the decline in sales, at least in the United States for Syrah, has been due to uh, popularization of Malbec from Argentina. Um, maybe there's been a pullback in terms of, say, Australian uh, exports to the United States for Syrah, Shiraz. And I think that's uh, unfortunate. And then a movie like Sideways makes Pinot popular and uh, makes Malbec, or actually Merlot sink. And then um, I really think it does uh, the number two Syrah as well. So Syrah was a descending, unfortunate um, uh, varietal uh, when it shouldn't be. It should be viewed in its own terms, its own way and what it does in terms of the experience for the person tasting it. So here we go, I'll take a taste of this wine and tell you what it's like. First of all, the uh, the beauty of this wine is just, it opened up right away and uh, was just perfectly friendly to start tasting. It's scent of pine on this, eucalyptus, underbrush, um, soft leather, gorgeous notes. So here we go, I'll take a taste and give you some feedback. Beautiful notes of wild blackberry, Black cherry confit, pine nut, chocolate dust, dried crushed bay leaf. This wine is a 9.0 out of my 10.0 scale. For more wine reviews, please go to jamesthewineguy.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google Plus, Pinterest. Salud.